How's it going, guys? My name is DJP, and welcome back to another MLB The Show 23 Franchise Rebuilding Challenge. So we got a next NA team, and it's going to be the Colorado Rockies. So, check out the content, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below for videos, go to socials, play the second channel, main channel down in the description. If you like other content, be DJP. And again, all the rules that you need to see are down below in the description as well, so check those out before watching the video. And with that being said, let's get on the gameplay. All right, relatively quick intro, <laughs> I guess that was. So, yeah, uh... Let's see what we could do here with the Rockies. They have an interesting team. Uh, there are some decent players on this uh, roster. Uh, if we take a look at it, uh, if we look, let's look at this on the lineups. I mean, we are right now in the spring training, but we'll skip skip through. We've got uh, so we've got Charlie Blackman. Uh, he is going to be an expiring. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. CJ Cron, pretty solid player. So you know, we try to keep him around. Chris Bryant's contract is massive. You know, depending on how he does, we'll we'll see what we want to do there. We got Rye Bear, we got Brendan Rogers, Trejo, uh, Diaz, and Ezekiel Tovar. Interesting uh, prospect here. 62 uh, overall A potential, so we'll see how he could do. We got Sean Shard as well. We got Brian Serban, um, Montero, and Taglia. Okay, Nolan Jones as well. Grichuk is pretty decent. So. I think there are some ta there are some talented players on this squad, but I, we we do we do need to make some we need to do we need to do some work here. I think more so our pitching. I mean, Marquez is our ace. Marquez is a great pitcher, but not for an ace. Uh, I think he's a good you know fourth guy in the rotation. Uh, so you know we'll try to work on that. We got Austin Gomber, uh, Freeland, uh, Antonio Sensatello. We'll see how he could do, and then. Uh, Ryan Feltner. Okay, yeah. Definitely need to work on uh, getting some pitching here. Daniel Bar is going to be our closer for now. So we're going to make some moves. Uh, we're going to see if we can try to get some better pitching to start off. Uh, you know, maybe we try to uh, fix some of these positions here, position players. Do we have any good prospects besides... Uh, we have Zach Veen. So we'll see if he makes an appearance. Uh, we got Benny Montgomery as well. Uh... But yeah, we're gonna try to see if we can make some moves here. Uh, we got some guys that are making a little bit too much money for my liking. We got some again. We got some guys that are a potential here and there, some B potential young guys. So we'll see how they could do. We'll probably keep them for now. But I do want to try to get some pitchers uh, as well as maybe you know another bat in the lineup. But definitely gonna worry about pitching to start. So let's see if we can try to acquire somebody. All right, I'm going to do this deal with the Rays. We're going to give up uh, Amador, Freeland, and Benny Montgomery for Drew Rasmussen. Drew Rasmussen is going to be a pretty solid pitcher, I think, for us for the foreseeable future. He's got, you know, arbitration on, and we save a little bit of money. And we have to give up a couple of decent prospects here, but we do get a really good pitcher in return. Uh, so I do like that trade that we're making there. I think it'll help us out a little bit. Now, I do want to see if I can clear up a couple of guys' bad contracts, maybe try to get some guys in return. Uh, this guy, Harold Castro, maybe we just flip him. Uh, and see if we can get something for him, whether that be like a pitcher. I mean, also Suter could be an option that we throw in there as well. If I try to get like some prospects for them, even if they're not the best, uh, I'm going to try to do that. Maybe try to sign somebody in free agency as well. Uh, and then I think that'll be pretty much it for moves to start off. So let me see if there's any good uh, prospects out here. That I I'll just deal with the Cardinals. We're going to get uh, Gordon Gris uh, Graceffo and John Torres for Harold Castro and Brent Suter. Just rip a little bit of money there. That's, I think, about it for moves in terms of people that we're going to trade for. I do want to sign a free agent here. I think we're going to pick up... Uh, can I pick up Trevor Rosenthal? Um, I want him in my bullpen. Uh, we'll give him like a player option, maybe $13 million, five years. That works for me. So we get a decent option out of the bullpen. Uh, but other than that, I think that's about it for the moves that we're going to make for now. So we're just going to go to the regular season, take a look at the roster that we're going to be fielding here. Uh, in the pros and again uh, I don't expect us to make the postseason this year it's going to take us a couple seasons but I do want to try to acquire some bats maybe at the deadline uh, you know just to progress the the rebuild a little bit for, uh, faster so we'll see what ends up happening here with the Rockies try to get them back in postseason contention probably within a couple seasons I'm excited you know especially that we have Drew Rasmussen out I think that's a pretty solid pick for us and uh, yeah, we'll see how the team does I'll see you guys once I have a move for you all right, so we're at the All-Star break, sitting at 32 and 59, which is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> the team's not doing too hot, but that's okay. Um, we did get this Ruben Little shortstop guy, so we're gonna sign him, and he will add him to our pool of uh, prospects. Let's take a look at the standings here and the statistics. As you can see, we're 32 and 59. 
Uh, injury list, uh, we got some guys that are hurt. Uh, um, Jared's hurt. He fractured his hand, so he's got another month and a half out. So, I mean, not that big of a deal, I guess. I wouldn't have that great of a season. How about Jonathan Daza, though? Uh, hitting 339, so that's pretty insane. Uh, he's doing really well, so I want to keep him around. Charlie Blackman. Uh, cold as of late. Uh, CJ CJ is hitting 370? That's a that's ridiculous. Okay. Um, I love I'm loving that. Uh, he's gonna be a free agent. I want to keep him around. He's gonna hit 370. Uh, I I think that's gonna dip, but even then, that's awesome. Other than that, though, besides uh, yeah, our offense isn't that great, but I mean CJ though 370 is absolutely outrageous. That is wow. That's wild. Um, okay, then Jonathan Jonathan's in 339, which is really good. But then everybody else has been kind of eh. As you can see, so we definitely need some more hitting in the lineup, but I am going to absolutely re-sign CJ because he he deserves it. Uh, but everybody else has been kind of meh, so uh, I, I would like another bat in the lineup uh, for sure uh, for this season, just for, you know, going forward. And yeah, look, Drew Rasmussen is switching very well. He's 7-7 seven seven with a 1.61 ERA. If he had more run support... This dude would be like 15 and 2. Well, maybe not 15. And, well, maybe. Could be. I don't know. Who knows? Marquez has been struggling. Gomber's been struggling. Yeah, everybody besides Rasmussen uh, has been kind of struggling. Uh, the bullpen is. Mm, some guys are better than others. Daniel Bar's got 16 saves this year. So, yeah, I mean, Drew Rasmussen is a good trade. Um, honestly, I wouldn't even mind trying to get like Randy Rosarena. I wanted to get Randy Rosarena with. With. Uh, with Drew Rasmus, but I couldn't find uh, get a trade that I liked. And how is CJ not like an all star? All star? How is he not starting in the All Star game? I don't understand that. But I am going to try to see if we can get a uh, you know a guy, another guy in the lineup for us. So I'm going to see what's out there in the market. Uh, truck's been pretty solid for us. So I'm going to see what see if I can try to trade. Like I said, for you know a pretty good uh, you know batter and of course trevor rosendahl is in the minors for some reason i'm gonna call him up uh, i don't know why he's there uh probably because he's not on the 40 man that's my guess so uh we're gonna put him on the 40 man if he's not there uh we could also just move this guy up to triple a uh, and then you know we can then do this yeah he's not on the 40 man so I i'll have to remove one of these guys uh julio carreras we will uh, remove you from the 40 man and then we will add Trevor Rosenthal and no and we will add you to the 40 man and then move you up to the MLB all right perfect so that way he, uh, we have a little bit of extra bullpen help there with Trevor Rosenthal because he's supposed to be in the majors uh let's see if we could maybe try to like I said try to trade for another bat all right, I was saying I was going to try to trade for somebody to, you know, like another bat in the lineup. So I'm going to see if I can try something in the market. Uh, my dog started barking while I was speaking, so I got cut off there. All right, let me see if I can find it. I think I'm going to do this too with the Phillies. We're going to get Trey Turner for uh, Montero, Diaz, and Guerrero, <clears throat> which, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I do need, if I do this trade with the Phillies, I'm going to have to trade for a catcher because we don't have any other good catcher. I mean, Drew Romo, uh, you know, young guy. We'll see what he... You know, maybe he ends up getting called up. I but it looks like it'll probably be Hunter Goodman. Uh, Brian Servant has not been very good. I would like, like I said, a better catcher. So I'm, I'm going to see what's out there in the market uh, to try to, you know, just acquire a catcher. So I'm going to try to do that. And then I think we'll be pretty much done for now. Right, I'm going to do this deal with the Mets. We're going to get give up to Nelson Lamette, uh, John Torres, and uh, Nico Dicolati uh, for Omar Narvaez and Eric Orsi. So... Uh, we do get a better catcher in Nar uh, Narvaez, at least for, you know, the time being. You know, he, he does have one more year on his contract, but he's having a pretty solid season. That is another bat in the lineup. Uh, you know, we're going to have to uh, try to figure out what we want to do in free agency. Maybe to just get a better catcher. But other than that, I mean, I think this team is looking pretty good going forward. I mean, obviously, we're not going to make the postseason this year. Uh, so not to worry about that. But uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I, I, I mean, I'm glad we got Trey Turner. I think that that'd be a bit helpful for us uh, going forward. We ended up going 64-90 on the season. Obviously not good enough to make the postseason. 
But uh, let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Drew Rasmussen led the league in ERA with 1.75, so he was a really good pickup. Trey Turner led the league in doubles. CJ Crone, 336 average, and Jonathan Daza had 195 hits to lead the well, lead the NL. So awards. CJ Crone was the batting title winner. Congrats to him. He had a really nice season. Uh, so you'll love to see that. Uh, let's take a look at the injury list. You've got it on there. Uh, Ryan McMahon uh, got hurt, uh, you know, in an okay year, I guess. And Gordon Graceffo, who I think we had traded for. Yeah, one of the prospects, he ended up uh, tearing his rotator cuff, so that's really unfortunate. Uh, Lineup-wise, yeah, Daza was really solid. Bouchard, I didn't see on the fire. Trey Turner had a pretty pretty decent year. Cron was amazing. Chris Bryant, we'll see what we want to do about him. Uh, you know, didn't have that great of a season this year, but we'll give him another chance. I mean, I need to move him at some point, I definitely have the ability to do so. Uh, Brent Rogers ended up seeing on the fire, so that's nice to see from him. Uh, Randall Gachuk also ended up seeing on the fire. Again, not 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 amazing. Uh, Narvaez kind of ended the season cold, and then the bench the bench was the bench. Drew Rasmussen had a nice year, 12 and 10, 1.75 ER, 0.99 WHIP. So he was a really good uh, trade acquisition for us. Marquez kind of struggled a little bit. Uh, Sensatella struggled. Gomber really struggled. Yeah, a lot of these guys down here struggled. Siebel was okay, though. Uh, just the record wasn't that great. So, uh, Jose Arena in the bullpen. Hmm. Uh, Kinley had a nice year. Uh, some of these other guys, you know, kind of hit and miss. Trevor Rosedahl uh, didn't pitch too much because he was mostly in the minors, uh, <laughs> which is not, you know, he didn't have the best. Yeah, our, our bullpen could use a little bit of work as well. Try to get a couple guys in the offseason. We'll see. But, uh, you know, again, there, there, there's some promise here. You know, Siege having an amazing year, and Daza was really good. So uh, I do want to try to get a couple other bats in the lineup. So maybe I do d decide to trade Chris Bryant, whether that be in the offseason or maybe at the start of next season. Uh, we'll see. Or if he's not, or maybe the trade deadline next year, if he's kind of struggling. Uh, but there is plenty to be excited for in Colorado. Dodgers are going to win the World Series against the Angels uh, Battle of LA, or the LA Metropolitan Area. And yeah, I guess uh, with that being said, we're going to the offseason. We've got some busy work to do and to handle. All right, so I did my arbitrations uh, and my uh, exclusive contract negotiations, uh, mostly with, uh, I definitely want to get back uh, CJ, uh, but I also did offer uh, Randall for Chuck as well. I'm going to do my tenderings here, and then we're going to go on the free agency, so once I'm done with that, I will come back with you guys in terms of uh, who we offer free agency. Right, so we're in free agency. I'm going to offer some starting pitchers some of my contracts here. I wouldn't mind going after a guy like Jordan Montgomery. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy here. I don't want to go too crazy in free agency. I might want to try to get some you know, balance here. I don't want to go for the, you know, huge top guys. I didn't think this time around. I think I'm just going to save a little bit of my cash this time. But we'll try to go after, like, a guy like Jordan Montgomery. I think he could be a pretty solid uh, guy for our team. Although, uh, that is not going to get the contract done there. So maybe if I throw him, I got to throw him a little bit more money. We'll throw him $100 million, seven years. And that will slightly put him above the Cardinals. Uh... I'm trying to see if there's anybody else that I'd like to go after. I mean, maybe some guys in the bullpen. Maybe a guy like Anthony Bass would be a pretty cool pickup there. Ha have him added into our bullpen. Three years, $10 million. Hopefully he accepts that. Maybe get a guy like... Uh, who else would be decent here? <clears throat> Looking. Daniel Hudson. Maybe Phil Mayton. Uh, Mayton. Yeah, we can go Phil. Phil Boy. We'll give him th uh, 13, 4, 5, 6 years player option. No, it doesn't really look like that's going to work. So we'll actually withdraw that. Uh, Dilson Lamet, who we trade away. We can get Wandy Peralta. Maybe I'll throw him a contract here. Uh, we'll throw him 11.7 uh, for seven years. No, that's not going to get the job done either. So I'm going to withdraw that. Yeah, I'm just going to throw some guys some contracts here. We'll see who we can end up getting for the team. And once I have some offers on the table, I'll let you guys. I just want to show you guys some of the guys we've picked up here. So I did sign Hunter Renfro. We got Jordan Montgomery. I've re-signed CJ Crone. We got uh, Clayton Kershaw, Tom Murphy as well, and then a lot of these guys we just ended up re-signing. I did pick up uh, Junis for our bullpen as well. So, again, small moves, nothing too crazy uh, this time around. I would like to try to make a trade, though, still. So we'll see what's out there in the market. 
Uh, I'm seeing if I have any guys, you know, that might be worth trying to trade. Um, I mean, obviously, we still have Zach Veen. Uh, you know, we'll see if he, he can get up into the majors this season. Uh, Randall Truck is my still still my everyday uh, center fielder. I wouldn't mind trying to get another bat in the lineup. I might try to move Chris Bryant uh, and see what's out there in the market for him. So I'm going to look around the MLB and see if we can get somebody for him. Um, and also throw maybe like Omar Narvaez and then I guess Tom Murphy, my everyday catcher. So if I can get like another bat, uh, that would be fantastic. Or another pitcher, one or the other. I'm going to advance the start of the second season here. And, you know, I think we got a little bit of better. Uh, you know, we still might need a few uh, things to take care of. But we have, you know, a few other extra seasons to do so. Now, looking at the team, we've got uh, Daz at the center field. We've got Sean Pichard. Trey Turner is here, obviously, who we traded for at the deadline last season. Hunter Renfro, CJ Crone, who's coming off an amazing season. Um, I still have Chris Bryant. We'll, we'll see what I decide to do with him in you know by the deadline if he's not having a great season, which now that I say that, he's probably going to have a good year. <laughs> probably hit like 280. Uh, but we'll see. You know, If he's having a good season, he's having a good season. If he's not, he's not. Uh, but we'll figure out what we want to do about that. Uh, when that time comes. Uh, pitching rotation-wise, uh, you know, we've got uh, Rasmus, and we did get Jordan Montgomery and Clayton Kershaw. Marquez could be a fourth guy now, and then Sentatella. The bullpen is okay. I mean, I've got Res Re uh, Trevor Rosenthal being our closer now for the entire season. Bard will be up here as well. So, it's some work to be done. I don't think we're going to make the postseason this year again. I do see us maybe winning close to 80 games this year which would be an improvement. I mean, we did take uh, only win 64 last season, which in, you know, the season prior, 2022, they won 68 games. So we'll see what uh, Rockies can end up doing here this season. We're going to simulate a bit and, you know, hopefully we can uh, build upon our season and the guys will progress. And then we'll have a chance to make the postseason next season, unless we somehow overachieve, which would be great. Well, we were at 45 and 44 at the All-Star break, which is better than we were last season. I actually thought we could have been even better because we were doing pretty good, and then we started taking a bunch of L's. I mean, it's going to be tough winning our division because we are in the same division with the Dodgers. Uh, take a look at the injury list. Right now, Rollison's on there. Uh, he's the only guy. Take a look at the lineups. How is everybody doing this year? Uh, does not have the best of seasons. A little bit down. Maybe he'll have a better, all post, uh, better season post All-Star break. So on Bouchard, though, is hitting 312 this year. So that's good to see from him. Trey Turner also hitting 312. He's having a nice year. Renfro's been eh. CJ's been pretty solid. Uh, Ryan uh, McMahon not been that great. Uh, Chris Bryant's hitting 265. So tough position there. I think I want to keep him around for now. Uh, but then Brendan Rodgers and then Omar Narvaez, who's been uh, pretty good this year for us. Uh, Tom Murphy off the bench. You know, kind of mix. He's been 278, so we'll take that from him. And then uh, Randall's been decent. And uh, Nolan Jones only had 16 at bats. But that's okay. That's fine. When he plays, he plays. How's the pitching rotation doing? Uh, Drew Rasmussen is doing, once again, a, you know, very solid. Glad we got him on the team. Montgomery's been cold as of late. Marquez has been also cold as of late. Senzatella has been cold as of late. And then Clayton Kershaw is, you know, still Clayton Kershaw. So even though he's a 72 overall, he's still really good. Uh, Jordan Yamamoto is in the blo uh, bullpen. Yoon has been terrible. Uh, Bard's having a lights out season. Bass hasn't been great. Neither has Justin Lawrence. Tyler Kinley's been pretty solid. Pierce Johnson, eh. And Trevor Rosenthal with the 23 saves is uh, pretty, pretty solid. But the team is struggling a bit uh we do have this uh, charles wise starting pitcher guy so that's pretty cool i do want to see if maybe we could try to trade <sighs> do i want to move well, i don't want to move how to run for now but i do want zach veen up in the majors at some point we do have a surplus of really good right fielders so maybe we move one of them i want to keep zach veen around but i want to see if we can get another bat in this lineup here maybe we trade for a better center fielder <coughs> You know, Yon does like, he's going to be arbitration, but I mean, he's coming off a really nice year. I'm going to see what's out there in the market for Chris Bryant uh, as well. So maybe I throw him a contract, uh, throw his contract up on the, uh, you know, on there. See what we can get for him. Brian Servant also, maybe we get rid of him as well too. Uh, yeah, I think maybe we, maybe it's, 
maybe we try to find something for him to do. So I'm gonna look around, see if we can try to make a couple trades and uh, try to acquire some more uh, players for our team. Let's we'll deal with the Mariners. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get Chris Bryant, Servan, and Fernandez for Jock Peterson, Robbie Gonzalez, and Robbie Ray. Uh, so we do get uh, an okay starting pitcher. Uh, we get off Chris Bryant's contract for Jack Peterson. Then we're taking on Robbie Reyes. We can always move. And then Robbie Gonzalez, decent closer pitcher. I know I have to give up Fernandez, but uh, you know, we still have Zach Veen and then this guy Jordan Beck. So it does get what we get gets the job done. So I'm going to do this trade here with the uh, with the Mariners. I said just at the Giants because Jack Peterson for the Giants. All right, so that's uh, probably the one we're going to make. Uh, I think. We got uh, better in some areas, in others not so much, but uh, Robbie Ray will now be our number three starter. Kershaw's going to be moved to the bullpen, uh, which is fine, I guess. Personally, I'd rather do this. Sensatella in the bullpen and Claire Shaw be the starter, so I might just do that uh, and see what ends up happening there. Uh, if they want to change it, they want to change it uh, at some point. But yeah, Kershaw's been pretty lights out. So I'm going to keep uh, simulating. Like I said, we're probably going to miss the playoffs this year, postseason. Not a problem, though. Trey Turner, shout out to being an all-star. And I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Somehow, this team made the postseason with 83 wins. Was not expecting that. So, all right. Uh, we're taking on the Brewers in the first round. So, I mean, okay. Listen. <laughs> Overachieved a little bit, not gonna lie. I didn't think we'd make it. Turner with doubles and triples and hits. So solid season for Trey Turner. Who hit 324. Just a tick off of Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, this is average there. Injury list. Uh, Jordan Montgomery, one to six days. He should be fine though. And then uh, Yada Daza. Uh, ended up having 267. Uh, he's missing nine days. He might be out for the season if we don't beat the Brewers, who, by the way, had. How many wins did the Brewers have? 84 wins? Wow. Look at all these teams. They were all right there. Uh, and then the Pirates. <laughs> uh, Braves had 100 wins. So did the Cardinals. Dodgers had 107. So all the 100-win teams. Blue Jays had 99. All the 100-win teams are in the NL. So, uh, Jock Peterson. Honestly, solid trade there. He ended up with a pretty solid year. Nolan Jones doing his thing out there as well. Uh, so you like that from him. He played He played a little bit more. Uh, Trey Turner had a really nice year again. Hunter Renfro was eh. CJ, not too bad. And then, you know, Randall Patrick was okay. On one of ours, decent as well. Uh, Rye Bear, Rye Rye struggling a little bit at the plate. And then Brendan Rodgers uh, was a bit down-ish. That's why the average dipped a bit. So, well, let's we'll see what happens there. Tom Murphy, not too bad. Uh, Tovar. You know, again, only played nine games this season. Most of the time, he's been in the, uh, in the minors. Uh, Sean Chard, 259 average on the season. Okay. Let's take a look at the pitching rotation. Drew Rasmussen was excellent. Robbie Ray was, I mean, the record wasn't bad. ERA was, you know, could have been a little bit lower. Mark has in the season on fire like that. Then Sensatella nah, was all right. And then Jordy Yamamoto, not too bad as well. Kershaw was pretty decent. Um, just looking at the rest of the bullpen, Jordan Montgomery. You know, he should probably slip in at some point uh, back in the rotation. But the bullpen, for the most part, a little bit hit and miss. Trevor Othal, though, had a nice year, other than the six, five blown saves he had. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, I think the team is surprising that we are in the uh, postseason, but I'll take it. I didn't think we'd be here. And we got to take on the Brewers. Only won 84 games, so they weren't, like, only one game better than us. Drew Rasmus for Corbin Burns, game one. We win 5-4, to four, so that's pretty interesting. Game 2, Jordan Montgomery for Fe Freddy Peralta. We lose that one 7-8. to eight. Uh, And it was Judas who got the loss. Well, do or die game 3 here. Robbie Wavers, Brandon Woodruff. And we actually won it 5 nothing. So we are in the NLDS to take on the Atlanta Braves. Uh, wow, okay. And again, as per mentioned, uh, oh, I guess the Guardians had 100 wins. The Braves had 100 wins. So there you go. It's gonna be a tough matchup here. Marquez versus Freed. Game one, we win seven to four. Okay. Game two, Antonio sends a versus Kyle Wright. We win that one six to one. Drew Rasmussen from Soroka. Game three, we lose. Jordan Montgomery versus Fax Freed. Game four, we lose. And Robbie Ray versus Kyle Wright. We're do or die. Game five, we're up 2 0 and we blew a 3 0 lead. How embarrassing. A 2 0 lead. How embarrassing. 
Of course, the guys that blew the game weren't even... Yeah, our bullpen was, looked like it was garbage. Uh, um, okay, well, let's see what happened here. We were one game away from the NLCS with an 83-win team. That doesn't make any sense, but this is, you know, MLB the show. So then again, when does it ever make sense? Uh, look at some of the offense. Who hit well? Who didn't? Jack Peterson looked like he struggled a bit in the postseason. Honestly, it was okay for the most part. Uh, Trey Turner was great. Tom Murphy, not too bad. Uh, let's take a look at the pitching rotation. Robbie Ray was okay. Drew Rasmussen actually kind of struggled a little bit in the postseason. Jordan Montgomery struggled a bit. Uh, Marquez was pretty solid. Sensatella was really good. Um... Uh, Okay, June is actually good uh, for the most part. Todd Kinley was terrible. Uh, Pierce Johnson was terrible. Anthony Bass was terrible. Trevor Rosenthal was uh, good. All right, well, I mean, listen, the fact that we made the postseason in our second season, and I wasn't expecting to do so, is great. Uh, um, one game away from the NLCS. Imagine we won. That would have been crazy. But we also were up 2 0. So we had the capability of winning against the Braves, but unfortunately didn't. And Blue Jays end up being the Braves in the World Series. So there are some moves that we could make here in our third season. But you know what? We exceeded expectations this year by making the NLDS. All right. So free agency is upon us. We have a few guys that we did go after. Now, I do, uh, as you can see, we offered, you know, our exclusive free agents. There are a few guys we could go after here. I could go after, like, a guy like Corbin Burns. He'd be pretty solid. Uh, Shane Bieber would be too bad as well. Uh, one of those two would be great for the team. If you want to go after some good pitching, I mean, you could go after, you know, maybe a guy like Tyler Last now. I don't need, I guess, two, like two, something too amazing. I do want another bat in the lineup. Now, Robbie Ray had an okay season. Do I keep him around? Um, hmm. Tough to say. Tough to say. He's making a lot of money. Uh, I might move Sensatella, though. That That's... Uh, probably one guy I'm going to try to trade right now. Free up a little bit of money here and see what we do there. Kershaw also, just because he is starting to regress a bit. Uh, maybe we try to move those guys and replace it with, uh, you know, pitchers that are going to be, you know, a bit better. So uh, let's see if I can get maybe, you know, like a bat for one of those guys. That would be nice. Uh, and, yeah, we'll kind of just go from there uh, in free agency and try to get some pitching. For the Royals, we're going to get up Senzatella and Kershaw for Salvador Perez, so we get uh, another catch here. A little bit uh, extra money saved. Not too much, but a little bit. And we're going to try to offer some starting pitching. Uh, we're going to try to get some starting pitchers here. I don't know who exactly I want to go after. I mean, there's a few guys here. I'm going to throw contracts at, you know, Corbin Birds. We throw him a contract. He wants a lot of money per season, but we give him, you know... The trick, a little bit down. We give him 20, uh, 20 20.5 a season. Maybe we can get him. We throw him some kind of contract like that. If I, you know, if I could also get like a Shane Bieber, that would be kind of nice. We throw him maybe, I don't know, call it 20 something uh, million per year, 21 million something per year. 20. Actually, we can give him the same exact contract pretty much. Maybe this time with a player option. No, it doesn't look like you want to come here. I'm actually withdraw the offer then from Shane Bieber. So we'll try to get Corbin Burns. And, if I, and also, if I can maybe get, uh, you know, I can get, like, Brandon Woodruff to steal, like, the Brewers pitchers. Brandon Woodruff would be a pretty cool pickup for us. We throw him uh, in a deal, maybe $15 million for 11 years. That might be pretty cool. Um, other than that, uh, I'm just kind of looking at anything else I want to do here. I mean, you could throw a guy like Liam Hendricks a contract as well to bolster up that bullpen. He'd be $17 million. We can give him a closer job. $17 million for three years. That would be probably about it. If we can get all of those guys or maybe one or two of them, that would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I want to get another bat right here. I mean, unless I want to get maybe like Alex Bregman or something. Um, just because, you know, Ryan McMahon's been struggling. I mean, Juan Soto would be cool, but Juan Soto uh, is wanting a lot of money, which I don't want to give him. So, uh, we'll see what we get end up getting here. I'm free to see if we can get any of those guys. And Corbin Birds went to the Braves, so I couldn't end up getting him, but I ended up getting Shane Beaver. So, I was able to get him. I offered him the contract instead, and we got Shane Beaver on the team. So that's a pretty solid pickup for us. 
Unfortunately, Marquez was not interested in uh, wanting to re-sign, um, weirdly enough, so okay. Uh, just kind of taking a look at anything else we might have here. What is our roster looking like here? Why is first base... Did he... Oh, okay. I guess he, like, kind of just uh, did the thing there. Okay, that's fine. So let me take a look and see if we can get anybody else here uh, looking around. And, yeah, so right now, Sean Bieber. We also got Sean Manai on the team, which is pretty solid. I'm still waiting on Woodruff, so if I can get him, that'd be great. Yes, mozzarella cheese. could get Woodruff but I did offer Mike Soroka a contract uh three-year deal so we got him on the team and I think that's gonna be pretty much about, uh, about it I did offer Liam Hendricks Daniel Bart I'm still waiting on them to possibly sign which would be great and bolster up the bullpen a little bit now I also did pick up uh Austin Slater kind of just be like another center fielder for us outfielder he could play a little bit first second and the other outfield position so kind of like a platoon outfielder I like it it's not too bad but other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys at the start of the third season. Let's see here. And, you know, I think the team got a little bit better. But let's take a look at the lineups and the roster and see what we got going on here. The rotation, pitching, stuff of that nature. So, yeah, we've still got Yonda Daza as our starting center fielder. Uh, you know, he's been pretty solid for the most part throughout this video. Uh, Nolan Jones, we've got Trey Turner. I mean, again, I could use another bat. I mean, Nolan Jones hasn't been too bad, though. He maybe he's got to play a little bit more. So we'll see, though, what he, what, how he could end up doing. Uh, Trey Turner's been really solid. We've got Perez now as our new starting catcher. So I guess the low lineup looks pretty solid. Tom Murphy off the bench. We've got Grichuk, Sam, Slater, uh, Sean Bichard. We don't really have any, actually, infielders, but I guess Austin Slater can play infield, and also Nolan Jones plays first base. So, you know, they're, they're, there's a little bit of, uh, there's something here. <laughs> There's something here with the guys, so yeah, we should be okay. Uh, Pitching-wise, I do like our rotation with Shane Bieber, Drew Rasmussen, Soroka. That looks pretty good. Then we got Montgomery and Robbie Ray. Uh, we'll see what we decide to do with Robbie Ray. Maybe we move him at the break. We also have Sean Manaya. We'll see what he can do. Uh, we got Judas as well. Kinley Bass, Lawrence, Rosendahl, Peter John Pierce Johnson, who I think I'm going to trade as well. Uh, along with Robbie Ray, if I do make a trade, and then Liam Hendricks is our closer. So, um, listen, I think the team is pretty good. We made the playoff postseason last year, uh, barely, but we did make it, nevertheless. So, I think we should be able to make it this year uh, with this team, because I do think we got a little bit better for sure. All right, well, we're 46 and 44 at the All Star break, which again isn't amazing, but uh, you know we weren't great last season either. We are three and a half out of a wild card. So we're struggling a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Injury list, got some guys get hurt. Perez fractured hand, so he could be out for a bit longer. Uh, that is unfortunate, but, you know, hopefully we'll get him back soon. We also have Cole Tucker, who, uh, I guess, tore his finger ligament. And then Colin Simpson as well is on there. Let's look at the pitcher rotation first here. Shane Bieber, 4-8 and eight's not a very good record. I mean, other than that, I guess he just hasn't been getting a lot of run support. Sorok has been okay. Uh, Jordan Montgomery... Uh, and then Robbie Ray, and then Drew Rasmussen, for some reason, is our number five. Why? I don't understand, but he's been amazing, regardless. Uh, I am going to move Robbie Ray, now I'm looking at it. Uh, Sean Manai has been struggling, though, too. Junis has been struggling. The bullpen has not been very good. Pierce Johnson, you're off the team, my friend. I'm trading away Robbie Ray and Pierce Johnson. I don't care what I get for them. Slater's been struggling, uh, which is unfortunate. Jones has been having a good year. Trey Turner's been cold as but he's been great. Renfro, Renfro's been struggling. Peterson, CJ Crone regressing a lot, so that is unfortunate to see. Um, so we might have to try to trade him uh, or get somebody better. I mean, Ryan's stepping up a little bit this season, uh, but yeah, our offense has been pretty bad for the most part. Uh, all the bench, though, Patrick's been pretty good. Sean Patrick has been solid. Yada the Daz has been very bad this year, and then that's pretty much all she wrote. So I think we're going to make some improvements here. We're, we are definitely having a down season, but I want to try to make a couple trades here, at least to start, uh, get rid of Robbie Ray and Pierce Johnson, because I don't want to bring uh, Pierce Johnson back, so I'm going to move him. All right, I'm going to do this trade with the range. We're going to get Nathaniel Lau for Ray, Veen, and Pierce Johnson. Actually, if I can do this without giving up Robbie, uh, Zach Veen, 
I can't. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna get in Daniel Lau. I'm gonna do that trade. Um, and I think I'm gonna move CJ Crone. I'm gonna try to get some prospects for him. I think so. We'll see what's out there in the market for him. Or do I keep him around? It's tough to say. I, I think I want to get some prospects from him. I could do like this deal with the Royal. We'll get a couple, get an A guy. This catcher and Sammy Six, so it's nothing too crazy, but it is, you know, an A potential at the end of the day. I'm gonna look to see if there's anything better than that, but if not, I think I might just do that deal with the Royals and take on that A potential player. I'm not seeing anything here, so yeah. I think I'm gonna do that deal with the Royals. So we will get uh, Steve Conrad, Cecil Rod Roderick, and Sammy Sixto. And that's pretty much about it in terms of moves that we're gonna be making here. So yeah, Nathaniel Lau will be a new starting first baseman, uh, which is, I mean, I guess that's cool. Um, and I guess that's pretty much about it uh, in terms of uh, moves. I'm kind of looking, do we even have any pitchers that were on this team prior uh, to us trading? Guys, I mean, I guess Daniel Bard is still here, uh, but yeah, no, not really. Um, and I think we traded away all of our pitchers, which is wild. So all right, I guess I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully we can make a wild card push because I don't think we're going to win the division. And the Braves in the first round. 90 and 72 is what we ended up going. So let's take a look at the league leaders here because we do have some doubles for Turner and batting average and hits. It's Trey Turner doing his thing out there. Trey Turner, once again, solid pickup for us, I'd say. Uh, so I'm liking that. Uh, in terms of awards, we have Hunter Renfro getting a gold glove, which is nice to see, and Trey Turner winning the batting title. Um, that is pretty nice to see. Uh, injury list. Uh, Lau is on the list, but he should be okay. Brendan Rogers is on the rest of, list, unfortunately. Uh, so everybody is getting hurt, uh, which is not good. Uh, that's going to be tough for us. Lineup-wise, just looking around, Daza was eh, right. Sean Bichard, pretty solid. Trey Turner, again, amazing season. Salvador Perez kind of struggled a bit, especially with the injuries. Uh, Ryan McMahon ha hits uh, 31 homers. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hunter Renfro is okay. Nolan Jones has been honestly pretty good for us. So I like that. Randall Grichuk and then uh, Alan Trejo is up here right now. But I imagine Daniel Lau will be starting. Um, Slater ended up having a pretty solid season. For the most part so there is that uh, how is our pitching rotation looking Shane Bieber you know the record wasn't amazing but he still was pretty good nevertheless Soroka same thing uh, Drew Rasmus was a fantastic he's been fantastic this entire video uh, what a pickup he was Montgomery on fire but you know not too bad and then Shaman I struggled a bit we had Yamamoto who was uh, terrible Junis hasn't been the greatest pickup for us. Yeah, our bullpen, not fantastic. I mean, honestly, the bottom of the bullpen's pretty good here. Kinley, Rosenthal, and Liam Hendricks with 42 saves on the season. So if we look at the standings, like I said, we had 90 wins, but so did the Braves. And uh, the Guardians had 111 wins to lead the Major League Baseball, a.k.a. the MLB. So the Braves, Bieber versus Burns. We were trying to get Corbin Burns, and we couldn't get him. Uh, I wanted to get both of them, really, but... He ended up bolting to Atlanta, so now we have to play against the Braves here. Bieber versus Burns, game one, we lose three to nothing. Game two, Sirocco versus Strider, we lose, so we get swept in the wild card round. Bit of a disappointing ending to the season once again, uh, but nevertheless, uh, you know, at least we made the postseason again. Braves beat the Guardians in the World Series. We're going to take a look and see uh, if we did anything good uh, here. And again, we also had some guys missing some time, so it didn't really help that our case there, but uh, yeah, we weren't very good uh, in, in the postseason at all. Uh, Bieber kind of struggled a bit. Soroka had a pretty solid uh, outing, though. Uh, but there is that. So, all right, not a problem. We got two more years. Let's see if we can try to make this team better in the All right, so in free agency, there's really not a lot of money that we can play around with here. I'm kind of just looking to see what we could potentially do. Um, taking a look at the team and just the roster in general, uh, you know, we just need to, we do need to re-sign a few guys, but 
uh, there is some, you know, potential trades that we could theoretically make as well. Um, I do think I want a better left fielder. We do have a lot of center fielders as well. Uh, I don't know if I want to make any trades there with them, but we shall see. Uh, but look, let's see what's out there in the market. I mean, again, it's not going to be anyone crazy. Crazy. I don't think I can get Vlad McGurge or not. I don't think I can get Kyle Tucker. Um, even though I would love to have Kyle Tucker on the team, I could try to sign him. Uh, I mean, that would be another bat in the lineup. Uh, so if I could get him, that'd be great. And he is an outfielder. So I'll throw him a contract, see what we can get. If we can get him, that'd be fantastic. If we can't, not a problem. But I think that might be the only move we try to make is just, you know, trying to get a bat um, and just bringing back most of my guys uh, besides that. So. We'll see what we can do there, um, and yeah, once I have, if I get an offer for Kyle Tucker, if he decides to accept, then that's great. If not, not a problem. See, so yeah, I did throw a couple other offers out there. I, I threw an offer to Austin Hayes. We'll see if we can get him back, or get him on the team as well, and I think I ended up getting him. Yep. So we did pick up Austin Hayes, so that's another bat in the lineup for us. Obviously, Ryan Helsley is a good, uh, you know, bullpen guy, good closer. He's be like a signing closer. And other than that, I kind of just re-signed everybody else here that I could. So, not the two major free agency. I mean, we didn't have too much budget uh, left to play around with. So, I guess I'll see you guys at the start of the fourth season, where maybe we can make the postseason again, and this time not get eliminated in the wild card round. So, start of the fourth season. Let's take a look at teams. So, we still have Jonathan Daza on the squad. Uh, Nathaniel Lau. We get Trey Turner here, Perez, Peterson, Ryan McMahon, uh, Hunter Renfro, Austin Hayes, uh, who picked up, and then obviously Brendan Rodgers too. So pretty interesting squad there. We got Tom Murphy, Grichuk, Slater, and Lewis. So I guess uh, AAA, some guys that are here, and Arvaz is here, Bouchard's in AAA, Nolan Jones is also in AAA, unfortunately. I would actually like him to be up in the pros. I'm not even going to lie. I kind of wish he was. Maybe he'll get called back up uh, because he's actually been pretty solid for us for the most part. But uh, I guess they don't want him here. I personally would rather have uh, him up than Ian Lewis. So can I actually do that? Uh, what if I sent down Ian Lewis? Uh, instead, we moved you down. Oh, I can't. He's a rule five. Okay, so he has to be there. Um... Uh, Angel Cabrera is, a, you know, another guy. I'm just trying to think if there's anybody here that's not. Uh, Bernabelle. Uh, let's see. We could keep him around. I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to see if there's anybody that can maybe... Tovar's on waivers? No, 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 no. Why is he on waivers? Why are these guys wa being waived? Uh, they shouldn't be. Um, uh, I'm trying to see if there's anybody I can, like, send down. I mean, I guess not really, so... We'll see what happens with Nolan Jones, but I do like the team. The rotation, again, looks pretty solid on paper, except Rollison, so I do probably need a fifth starter, uh, which we'll probably have to try to acquire uh, maybe at the deadline if I can get another starting pitcher. If not, then we'll have to wait till the offseason, but I do like, I guess, our first three guys, and then, yeah, I mean, Montgomery is okay, but... Uh, yeah, he's not too bad. He's been pretty solid. I guess he'd be better as a fifth. But, you know, we'll see how Rollison does. I, I think the team, once again, can make the postseason. Uh, only time will tell. We'll see if we have to make any moves by All-Star break. Any moves that pop up, I will show you guys. But right now, I mean, I am I think I'm good. I mean, to keep the team the way it is. And, well, we'll see how we do. Um, Which, I mean, it's not great, but I guess it's... It's good enough. Um, hopefully, we can stay tied with the Dodgers. Otherwise, we might not even make the postseason. Uh, our division seems to be pretty weak. I would like to make a move. I think so. I'm I'm going to do that. Uh, Sean Manea got hurt. Torn, torn groin for Jordan Montgomery, which is kind of unfortunate. Again, he's been pretty solid, but you know, he'll be out for a month. Uh, how's the lineup looking? Slater's been terrible, but he hasn't really played too much. Hunter Renfro has been kind of uh, struggling a bit as well. Um, I might look to move him, try to upgrade my right field position. Uh, Perez has been okay as a catcher. Trey Turner, decent, but not quite when we... Not quite 330, so he's a bit of a down year for him. Jock Peterson's been really good, so has Daniel Lau. Uh, Mahan's been struggling. Uh, Hayes has been pretty good pickup, and Brendan Rodgers having a nice year. Yeah, the, it's not looking too hot for the team, so I, I think I might move a couple guys here, try to get another bat. I also want another starting pitcher. 
I think. But let's take a look to see how the rotation is. Bieber's having a nice year. Soroka's been pretty solid. Rasmussen on fires of late, but a little bit down from his other seasons that he's had. But he's still doing all right. Rawson's been kind of meh. And actually, Junis has been pretty good. So that's cool to see. Uh, other than that, the bullpen has been very bad as well. Helsley has been pretty solid. But yeah, there's a lot of guys that are just struggling in here. So I'm going to try to make a trade, I think, for another bat in the lineup. I think I want a better center fielder. So I'm going to throw in a couple of my center fielders here and see if we can get somebody. Um, and then from there, we will also try to get a, you know, another starting pitcher. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, let's see what moves I can come up with. All right, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually trade for Randy Rosarena. Uh, he's having a pretty solid year. He's going to add to our offense. I know he's a left fielder, but, uh, you know, I guess having outfielders isn't that big of a deal, right? So, yeah, we're going to take him on. Welcome to the squad, Randy Rosarena. All right, this next trade I'm going to do here is for the Blue Jays. We're going to get Nate Pearson for Bouchard, Bard, and Anthony Bass. Uh, because, uh, yeah, Daniel Bard's 40 years old. And then we're just going to get rid of Bouchard and Bard. We get another starter pitcher, which we desperately need at this moment. And Steven Okert. Uh, yeah, Shabadaya just, I guess, uh, hasn't quite worked out. And he is also in AAA right now. So we're going to do that trade for a little bit of money here. And that is going to be the last move we make. So hopefully with those moves, we have gotten a little bit better uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, I guess in terms of mostly defense or pitching, rather. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully we can win the division and make the postseason. What an extremely disappointing season we had here. Only 83 and 79 and did not make the postseason. We really took a step back this year. Um, Shane Bieber had the best war in the league, but that's unfortunate. Uh, injury list. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Uh, Medeiros got hurt, but yeah, lineup-wise... You know, Rosamina was a solid pickup for us. Daza ended up being okay. Turner, a bit of a down season for him. Perez was okay. Daniel Lau was decent. Trevin Raj had a nice year. Yeah, wow. We need to uh, we need to hopefully come back next season stronger than ever. So we're going to have to make some major moves here if we want to be back in contention. Bieber was really good. Soroka was solid. Rasmussen. Bit of a, you know, not as great as he usually does, but he's still solid nevertheless. Pearson was pretty good, and then Jordan Montgomery, not too bad. The bullpen, pretty... Eh, it ended up being okay, but... Yeah, the team struggled. Unfortunately, 83 wins is not going to cut it. Uh, we missed out by four games on the wild card. We just did not have a great second half of the season. So, uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done if we want to make the postseason once again and make some noise, so... Hopefully we can uh, accomplish said goals uh, in the offseason. Because we only have one more year. This is our last season. So uh, let's see who wins the World Series here. It is going to be the Blue Jays beating the Marlins. So let's go into our final season and try to acquire more talent, more development, make some smart moves, and see if we can maybe get ourselves back into contention. All right, so I did my tendering of the contracts arbitration and, you know, I'm going to try to do some stuff for free to see. We got a lot of work that needs to be had here. So I'm going to try to offer some guys some contracts. I mean, I did sign uh, most of these guys ended up re-signing. So I am waiting on some of my other guys that I did offer contracts here too. Uh, but there are some guys out here that I wouldn't mind trying to sign. I'm going to try to throw some offers at some pitchers, uh, some players on offense because we definitely need more hitting as well so i mean there's going to be a lot of stuff being thrown out here so we're gonna try to get as many guys as we can and make this team as good as possible so let's see what we can do also to shed a little bit more money i'm gonna trade away omar narvaez for cesar guillen 18 years old 50 overall a potential from the padres in case i do want a trade with a prospect uh, maybe at the deadline in the, our final season all right, so first signing we made here, I'm going to add Luis Garcia to our rotation. That's another solid starting pitcher for us. I did pick up JT Real Muto. He's going to be another catcher for us, so that's a pretty solid uh, pickup for us. I like that. JT Real Muto to add to our offense. I also did pick up another catcher in Jonah Heim to help us out too. So now we have JT Real Muto and Jonah Heim as our catchers. That's pretty solid there. 
And the last big headliner signing I made was Alex Vesia. I know it says 14 years, but that's just so that I can get the interest up. It's a cheat code. It's again not meant to be realistic, and it's uh, that's the and I think that was our last headlining signing that we're gonna end up making there. Uh, I'm just gonna skip through kind of the rest of this here, and just to show you guys what else we've gotten. So. Um, I guess we have a little bit more money to play around with, but I think I'm good. So obviously we resigned most of these guys here, like Rose Arena we resigned. Uh, we picked up JT Real Mudo. You saw that already. Luis Garcia, Drew Rasmussen, Alex Vesia. Uh, we got him, Haim. We've got Lau, Carlson. We picked up George Springer as well. I definitely think we made a lot of moves. We made a lot of moves in free agency. I do think we got a lot better. Uh, there could be some trades we end up deciding to make as well to start off the fifth season. But for now, I'm um, pretty happy with the squad. Let's go on to the start of the fifth season and take a look at the lineups and the rotation. All right, so the fifth and final season, our lineup looks pretty good. We got Lau, Carlson, Turner, Rosarino, Will Muto. So we got Ryan McGahan, Springer, Rogers, and Austin Hayes. It's pretty solid. We does come off the bench with Tom Murphy, Randall Gertrude, and Jonah Heim, as well as Warming Bernabelle. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Hopefully, we could be pretty good this year. I mean, the rotation with Bieber, Garcia, Rasmussen, Pearson, and Montgomery is okay. Uh, Ryan Rollison, we got Junis, uh, Gilbreth, Stephen Okert, Helsley, who we also, you know, have uh, Tyler Kinley and then Alex Vasillo. So the bullpen looks okay. The starting rotation looks pretty solid. Our off our lineup looks good. Again, I think we can be a pretty good team. Um, so we'll see how we do at the All-Star break. I'm going to try to probably make a trade then. I mean, there's really nothing else that I could theoretically do now unless I throw in, like, Gonzalez, like, Steve Conrad, and, oh, I don't know. I mean, I could, I guess, theoretically throw in Nolan Jones, who didn't even play last season, damn. Um, I could throw Burn Burnabell in there. Hmm. I'm trying to think if that would make the most sense, doing something like that. And if I can get just, like, another bat in the lineup. But the problem is all these guys are like friggin' not, you know, they're they're not cheap. <laughs> so that's the thing that's tough. And even if they are cheap, they're gonna be really high trade value. Uh, most of these guys are pitchers that I'm getting that are, would be relatively cheap. And even then, I can't afford them. So I think for now we'll hold off. Uh, and I, and you know, depending on how we're doing, we can make a move at the All Star break or before trade deadline. Again, I think this team is pretty solid. We'll see how we can end up doing. I'm going to see you guys at the, you know, all-star break. Unless we get a trade before then, I might want to do. But I like the squad. I think we could be good this year. Hopefully, we could have a bounce-back season from last year. We couldn't make them. All right. Well, once again, we are struggling, underperforming at the all-star break. I mean, we're close to a wild card. We really need to have a good second half of the year. Uh, we have some injuries, it looks like. Uh, Real Muto is hurt, but he should be coming back. With, uh, he was a dislocated shoulder. Bernabelle got hurt. Um, okay. Let's take a look at the lineups. Uh, Lau's having a pretty solid season. Rogers has been really good. Trey Turner's having an excellent season this year. Rose Rain has been great. Uh, McMahon has been solid. Hayes has been okay. Could be better. George Springer is struggling mightily. So I might trade him because I do need someone. Jonah Heim hasn't been that great. And then Randall Grichuk in the center field has been kind of mid-ish. So, Tom Murphy also having a terrible season. We're really not getting any much production out of our catchers. Dylan Carlson has been okay here and there. But, yeah, I do need another bat, I think. So, that's something we're going to kind of try to address. Uh, Bieber's been okay. Uh, Garcia's been solid. Rasmus has been solid. Pearson's been struggling. Paulson has been, you know, 6-1. and one, But, yeah, the pitching isn't great either. Vasi has been really good. Uh, some guys have been hit and miss. Tyler Kinley hasn't been that great this year. Helsley's been okay. Uh, but yeah, Okert's been struggling. Gilbert has been pretty solid. Junis has been meh. And Montgomery's been kind of, eh. He's been okay. Could be better though. Uh, but yeah, Nate Pearson, I don't know what's going on with you, my man. You've just been terrible. So... <laughs> Yeah, we gotta make some moves. I don't, I, I need another bat. I definitely gotta get rid of Springer. Uh, I need to get a better right fielder uh, pronto. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm also probably gonna move Randall Grichuk in that deal as well. And if we can try to get like somebody that can really hit the ball, that's not that expensive. We gotta do that move. 
Okay, I might take a shot on Jake McCarthy for George Springer, Randall Grichuk, and Liam Hendricks. Uh, you know, Jake McCarthy's having a solid year, and he's, he does he is injured right now with the Fletcher strain, but he should be back by the you know by the end of the All Star break. I don't know if there's any other moves you could really stickly make. I mean, I could throw in Jack Peterson to a trade because he's just in the minors now. Uh, if I throw him, Guillen, and then, I don't know, maybe like one of these third basements. If I can get a better starting pitcher, that'd be great. So I'll see if I could try to bust up a move there. And then that'll be... All right, not quite a starting pitcher, but we could get a relief pitcher here because I do need it. Aaron Ashby, uh, we could get him for Jock Peterson, Cesar Guillen, and Glenn Adams. So that is going to be the final trade that I'm going to be making for this video. Hopefully... It is enough to bolster our chances into the wild card. I'll see you guys in the end. Team really choked in the second half of the postseason, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, we didn't make it, clearly. Um, I'm taking a look at the standings, leaders, injury list. Oh, boy. Jake McCarthy got hurt uh, with a torn labrum. Literally the moment we traded for him. Austin Hayes gets hurt. Drew Rasmussen tears his shoulder. You know what? That's that's what happens. You know, it's not even. I don't even want to blame it. it. We got a bunch of injuries. That's what happened there, ladies and gentlemen. Alex to see a delivered man of the year. That's awesome. But other than that, missed playoffs three out of the five seasons. Uh, missed. We only made the wild card and couldn't even get out of the NLDS. That's unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen. So that is going to be how this video ends. Uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, two out of five uh, seasons only in the postseason and didn't make it the last two years. So part of it was injuries, um, which is unfortunate. I mean, Real Mudo really struggled as well, yeah, but he was also hurt. Half of these guys were in and out of lineup. I mean, Daniel Lau was doing his dollars. We have Mike Ta Michael Toglia, come on now, playing, having to play first base. Uh, it's just tough, yeah. I mean, Daza was pretty good this season. He only played 58 games. Tom Murphy really struggled this uh, last season. Jonah Heim wasn't that great uh so kind of unfortunate that uh this time around we just couldn't get the job done pitch rotation wise Bieber was eh was okay I mean Luce Gretchen was a nice pickup for us Pearson really struggled Austin really struggled and Jordan Yamamoto really struggled so yeah the pitching just kind of let us down a little bit I mean the bullpen some guys were good other guys weren't Seabold really was bad uh, Helsley kind of struggled a little bit this season so did Kinley Alex Vasilla, that was awesome. But yeah, sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles when you simulate. You can't always make, you can't always win them all. Um, you know, we had a couple good seasons. I do think if we weren't injured, we would have made the postseason. But you know, unfortunately, we had a lot of injuries, and that just sometimes happens. Uh, and how 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 bad were we? Six games back. Yeah, if we had a fully healthy lineup. We probably would have been like an 86 win team, but we didn't have that. So what are you gonna do? Uh, I guess let's just see who wins the World Series and then go to the post screen and close that video. It is going to be the Braves. So the Braves win back to back. Good for them. Let's go to post screen. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment down for videos, social play, second channel, main channel, down in the description, look at the content of TJP. So yeah, this one was a bit of a rough one, unfortunately, for the Rockies. Um, you know, we got them back into the playoff contention. Um, you know, a couple seasons. They had some good years, but some seasons where they kind of just missed out, mainly due to injuries. I think we had a fully healthy roster, you know, throughout the season. I don't think that would have happened. But yeah, we definitely underperformed a few times, uh, in my opinion. And if uh, that didn't happen, I think we would have made the postseason probably m multiple times. Um, but unfortunately, you know, sometimes it's just not the case when it comes to the simulation. So it is what it is. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to head on out, though. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Peace.